If you stab someone in the head, the first thing you do is go to Mexico, down to Mexico, and you share it with a drug cart, a drug cartel. Then you stay there for a day or two. You go down to Venezuela, then you catch a plane, and you go to Russia. Then you'll stay there, meet Putin in the Kremlin. Then they'll, then they'll rat you back out to the U.S. The next thing you know, you're chilling in your house, burlap sack. You hear some Catholic bird attack over your head, get knocked unconscious. The next thing you know, you wake up in a plane, and, like, and you're like, what, where am I? And they say you finally, finally just woke up, whoa, whoa, and then you lose your consciousness. Oh, and the next thing you know, you're in a car. They say you're going to a hospital. Then you black out and you're in a hospital. Get transferred after you are better. You get transferred to San Quentin. And then you stay out there for a few days, then your trial begins. Then they say, it's either execution or asylum, or life in prison. <laughs> they choose asylum. Then you, can you try to break out of the asylum. You hurt some people, try to escape the caps. Then the cops catch you, go back to trial too. And then they say, they say, you're gonna go get the electrician chair, oh, the lethal injections, oh, wow, I just really went deep, but you'll get a lethal injection, try to break out, but then you, then you, then you, then you, then you, that's a bit, that is my, and that's why you stab someone in the head. So... Mm.